Penny Mordaunt's camp, claiming she too was stitched up. In a sensational revelation yesterday, the MP for South Derbyshire, Heather Wheeler, said the threshold was set at 100 MPs to prevent another woman from getting the top job. Watch. I'm going to be quite um, scathing about my colleagues in the 1922. I think it's a stitch up. I'm convinced of it. Why? I'm absolutely why, why, of it. why would she be stitched up by the 1922? Uh, I've had one of the gentlemen say to me, we can't have another woman, can we? You didn't. And that's outrageous. Now, last week, Sir Graham Brady, chairman of the 1922 committee, who agreed the rules for the contest along with the Conservative Party, admitted it was a high threshold, but said it would be achievable by any serious candidate that has a realistic prospect of going through. Now, Morden was reportedly just 10 MPs shy of the 100 before she conceded to Fishy Rishi at the 11th hour, saying these are unprecedented times. Despite the compressed timetable for the leadership contest, it is clear that colleagues feel we need certainty today. So, look, this is an extraordinary claim, Nigel Nelson. Uh, do you think that sexism played any part? I mean, would there be members of the Conservative Party who thought trust did such a bad job, so we want a man, we I, don't want... I'm sure, there are, I'm sure there are MPs like that. And I think what Heather Wheeler should do is name and shame that member of the 1922 committee <clears throat> who said it to her. The rules themselves weren't sexist. I mean, they, they quite simply said, we'll get a maximum of three candidates... Uh, you're absolutely right. What they really wanted was a coronation. They wanted to bypass the membership all the way through. That was the plan. They've achieved the plan. But the rules as such were, were, weren't sexist. They weren't trying to keep out a woman. No. They were just talking no. about it was equal for everybody. I mean, Belinda and Lucy, I struggle to believe this is sexism. I do believe the rules were incredibly anti-democratic. Yeah, uh, they were anti-democratic. But I think playing the sexist card every single time a woman doesn't get what she wants is getting rather dull and infantile us as a sex. I think the reason Penny didn't win, although she's a formidable and highly respected politician, is because she's super woke and the progressives love her. She wrote, in fact, the ERG, one of a member came out saying the problem with Penny is the book she wrote. It's a very woke book. And it is. She was, she presided over and the government. Bill government's, Gates wrote the she, forward of the she, book. Bill Gates wrote the forward <laughs> of her book. And it's all full of cancelling the OBEs and the CBEs. And it's very, very sort of left. It could have been written by a Labour MP. And underneath Don't that formidable, like. yeah, underneath that formidable woman is a very progressive, woke lady who is trying to cover her tracks now. But she presided over the entire capture of the government's equality office by gender um, extremists. She she is said to be responsible for removing the words "women" and "mother" from the maternity bill. This is not a friend to women's rights. So if 50 percent of the population shouldn't vote for a woman like that anyway, and maybe the Conservative Party saw through that, that's the reason why she didn't get enough votes. I mean, Carol Malone, this is one of the great ironies of this story, isn't it? That, that Penny Mordaunt has actually been under fire for refusing to stick up for the rights of biological women. Well, the, yeah, I mean, that, that is true. But, I mean, just kind of going back to... I don't get why Penny Mordaunt's name is on everyone's list. There's lips. This, I think this clip by Heather Wheeler is total tosh, by the way. I mean, where's the evidence? As Nigel says, if somebody actually said it, and I'm not entirely sure they did, let's, let's name and show them, let's hear who it was. But I don't believe it was that at all. And I, do you know, I wish someone could tell me why every time there's a leadership contest, and we know there have been a few, why Penny Morden's name is up, here, up there. This is a woman who has never really distinguished herself in any office ever, and yet every time her name keeps on being put on the tab, and I don't get why. And the reason she had a few shy of 100 to, at the end of today was because she got Boris's votes. She got the people who weren't uh, voting for Boris. But, you know, let, I, mean, I think if you said to most people in this country, who was Penny Mordaunt and what is her job, I think people will be struggling to tell you what she did. So let me just ask you now. OK, so we know what she does now. Yeah, we know what her job is now. You know what it is. Yeah, she's the leader of that. What was she before that? Well, she was the Defence Secretary, wasn't she? I think Long she time ago. That, that, wasn't her, that wasn't her last job. What was her last job? Trade. 
I knew you would. You know, <laughs> you're not part of this Sorry. competition. So, but David but, Frost was obviously very critical for her when she was in the Brexit. Yeah, but but she was she was trade, and before that, she was international development. Mm. No one would know that because she she never distinguished. The only thing that I've ever heard about Penny Morden was she was lazy, and that was from her last boss. Mm. I don't get what qualifies her to be in the running anyway. And I just think this lady was all respect to her. I think she's an ardent Penny fan and a bit too much of an ardent Penny fan, and is just looking looking for some reason why she didn't... But even if it was said, even if it was said, and it's not a nice thing to say, and and if it it was said, it it sounds pretty sexist. I I do think, though, the last two female PMs haven't haven't been... Brilliant. And it's not because they're women, though. It's because they've been wet and weak. And, you know, even Trusser, yes. who I liked in the beginning, did all those U-turns in the end and supported the liberalisation of immigration. Do you believe that was said? I just, I don't believe it for yeah. a second. But it's not because they're women. You judge people on merit. Stop playing I the think woman card. Brady-